Good Sunday morning, everybody. The topic for today's devotion from today.refrainmedia.com is sitting at the right hand of God. And we are continuing with the same scripture reading we've had for the um, past seven days. It's Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, which read from the English Standard Version. Long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature, and he upholds the universe by the word of his power. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. And the key part of that reading for today's devotion is he is um, verse 3, which reads, He sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. At the beginning of history, when God had finished all of his creating work, what did he do? He rested. Does that mean God sat back and did nothing? No. It means that God had accomplished all that he had set out to do, and that he now reigns over it all. We get the same picture here of Jesus. We have learned a lot about Jesus in these few verses at the beginning of Hebrews. Quote, After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Jesus had accomplished everything he had set out to do and now sits at God the Father's right hand. This does not mean, of course, that Jesus is sitting around doing nothing. To be seated at God's right hand is to reign, actively ruling over all the work and development of God's eternal universal kingdom. Jesus became human, one of us, for a purpose to provide purification for our sins. And when he accomplished that, the Father restored him to his rightful place on the throne in heaven. From there he reigns and rules with the Father now and until he comes again. That's from Revelation um, 4, 5 and 21 verses 1 through 7. What does this mean for us? It means Jesus accomplished purification and salvation for us. We do not have to earn our salvation. And now Jesus sits and reigns at the right at the Father's right hand, holding all things together. Let's pray. Ascended Lord Jesus, thank you for your finished work and for your ongoing rule over our, all things. May we live in gratitude, seeking to serve in building your kingdom wherever you lead us. Amen. Sitting at the right hand of God. The right hand um, is the position of authority. Um, whoever sat at the right hand of a ruler is basically the next person in charge um, and usually has authority to do whatever they want within that kingdom. So Jesus now sits at the right hand of God. We will sit with Jesus one day. That day may be tomorrow, that day may be a hundred years or a thousand years from now. The only thing we know is we are in the end days, but we just don't know how long those end days last. So let's be ready. Let's be prepared for those end days. Let's make sure our heart is right. Let's make sure our mind's right. Let's make sure we're telling people about the good news of Jesus Christ and make sure that that kingdom that once he comes back and establishes his kingdom on earth, is as big as it possibly can be. Have a great Sunday. Hopefully you'll be able to actually uh, worship Jesus Christ and fellowship with others in a church service somewhere, um, either in a building or at least outside, but not online. Um, you know, Hopefully you're able to get out and actually be around people now, um, you know, wherever you're at. So thank you guys again for watching, and have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Great day.